Quarterback Tim Tebow is returning to the NFL in a historic career comeback. You may recall a few years ago he was cut from the Denver Broncos, traded to the New York Jets, then kicked over to the New England Patriots, where his NFL career came to a close, signing a deal with ESPN as a commentator, but never giving up his dream to one day return to the NFL. A dream that he was ridiculed for having, as this FoxSports.com article notes from last year. Tim Tebow is training as if an NFL comeback is possible. Well, apparently it is, because the Philadelphia Eagles either just did sign or is about, are about to sign him to a one-year deal to return to the NFL. Why am I talking about this? Well, a few different reasons. Most people in the conspiracy community need some positive uh, stories in their life. Unfortunately, many of them just like masturbating to murder and they like their pessimism porn. They get off on the bad news and have become crippled in a downward spiral of negative thought patterns, thinking that uh, their whole life will be a failure and that the New World Order is going to destroy everyone and everything. And so they've just given up on any hope and any dream that they may have to have a happy and fulfilling life. And while I don't <laughs> really follow football, uh, it largely is just a modern-day bread and circus, a mainstream media mind-controlling distraction uh, that occupies the uh, time and minds of the masses. This is a very interesting story of how when you dream, dare to dream an impossible dream, and then follow up by actually consistently working towards its achievement, sometimes you can achieve the seemingly impossible and not to mention the mainstream media hated, and now that he's having a comeback, will hate Tim Tebow even more because of the fact that he is a publicly professing Christian. That's right. You may recall uh, he started a, a craze, just, I mean, not even really meant to start it, just many fans started mimicking his uh, touchdown celebration calling it T-Bowing, where he would get down onto one knee and thank God for the incredible opportunities that he had to play in the NFL, uh, getting him a lot of ridicule and hatred in the mainstream media. As this uh, tragically funny Chicago Tribune comic shows, uh, Tim Tebow, you know, talking to the press, saying, I'm a Christian, and the reporter turns his back and says, keep it to yourself. And then Jason Collins, the first NBA player to come out as gay tells the reporter that he's gay, and then the reporter says, tell me more, you big hero, showing the incredible hypocritical double standard. Of course, Hollywood the, and the mainstream media that you know preaches tolerance and diversity has no tolerance for Christianity. Hollywood and the, the mainstream media, the liberal fascist press, loves to hate Christians and Jesus, uh, of course, this, they given a free pass. You're not allowed to you know, dis respectfully disagree with uh, certain other religions or political, certain political protected groups. But it's a free-for-all for hating and defaming Christianity. Uh, I need to start reporting on more positive stories. Many of you, unfortunately, have been trapped in the downward spiral of pessimism porn. Uh, certain other YouTube channels just love to report on just mayhem and murder and the audience just loves masturbating to murder the the more horrific the news uh, the better for them they get off on the uh, fear-mongering and the conspiratainment uh, so thought i would highlight this positive story if you just dare to dream an impossible a seemingly impossible dream and don't listen to your detractors when they tell you that you can't do something uh if you work tirelessly uh, and consistently towards your goal, you just might be able to achieve what others appear to be impossible.